most interpolation methods on both regular and irregular x intervals use difference tables of which can be confusing, especially with divided difference tables. The method of Lagrange's interpolation is quite unique as it only utilizes the data points to arrive at the answer. Learn about it here in Numerical Solutions to CE Problems. Although there is a standard pattern, the equation used in the method is still relative to the given data set. Let's say we have a data set with five coordinate pairs, which we shall name as x1 to x5 for the x coordinates, likewise y1 to y5 for the y values. Assuming we are looking for the function of a certain x or f of x, the number of terms we have to solve is the same as the number of the data points. In this case, we've had 5. These terms are added together, and each of them will be multiplied by y correspondingly, like y1 for the first term, y2 for the second, and so forth. Now let's get deeper to each term. In every term, the number of quantities to be multiplied will be equal to the number of data points less 1. So in our model of five data points, there are four quantities in the numerators and the denominators. This will be true for all the terms that we are going to compute. The next step is to position our required x in each quantity in the numerators, then we are ready to work on the changing parts of the long equation. Focus on the first term now. We isolate the first data point of x1 and y1. x1 will be the first terms of each quantity of the denominator, and to complete the quantities, we would have to subtract the remaining x values on each. That is like minus x2 for the first quantity, minus x3 on the next until x5 on the last quantity. These values from x2 to x5 will also be reflected in the denominator as the subtrahend for x1. The isolation of the second data point is used in the second term. The disregarded x2 will be the first terms in each quantity in the denominator. Just as how we completed the first term, we subtract the remaining x values in the numerator, that is from x1, then we jump to x3, then x4, and x5. And again, these values will be reflected just the same in the denominator. The process continues to the succeeding terms, so in the third term, the third data point will be covered. x3 is used in the denominator, and the subtrahends in each quantity are the x coordinates, but the disregarded x3 x1, x2, x4, and x5 are also forwarded to the denominator to complete the third term. As we get more familiar with the procedure, the fourth term covers the fourth coordinate pair and x4 will be used in the denominator. The other x values are used as subtrahends on both the numerator and the denominator. The last term will also follow the same format. Isolate data point 5. Use x5 in the denominator and subtract x1, x2, x3, and x4 in each quantity in both the numerator and the denominator. And that will complete Lagrange's interpolation equation, a rather long computation but without the complexities of a divided difference table. For our example, we will be referring back to our previous one from the last video to check if the interpolated value will be the same. 
let's determine the function of 0 0.57 from the data set shown. Having five data points, we would be working on five terms added together and also multiplied by the y values in each term. The first term of each is multiplied by 244, the second with 204.25, the third with 163.75, the fourth with 184, and the last is multiplied with 358. The x of the required is placed in the numerator, and that is 0 0.57. By focusing on the first coordinate pair, we use x1 or 0 in the denominator, and the rest of the x coordinates as subtrahends. The second term will cover a numerator which comprises of 0 0.57 less 0, 0 0.57 minus 1.5, O57 minus 2, and 0 0.57 minus 3. Note that we skip 0 0.5 which is x2. The same subtrahends will be used in the denominator, making 0 0.5 less 0, 0 0.5 minus 1.5, 0 0.5 minus 2, and 0 0.5 minus 3. The third term has 0 0.57 minus 0, followed by 0 0.57 minus 0 0.5, and 0 0.57 minus 2, skipping 1.5. Then lastly, 0 0.57 minus 3. x3 which is 1.5, will also be reduced by the similar subtrahends from the denominator. Next, we isolate data point 4 and use 2 in the denominator. 0 0.57 in the numerator will be subtracted by 0, 0 0.5, 1.5, and 3. And the same values will also be subtracted from 2 in the denominator. The last term will have x1 until x4 as subtrahend in the numerator. x5 will be found in the denominator subtracted by x1 to x4. As this will be done manually, it is best to place each term vertically to identify the partial values of each. The first term comes out as negative 12.2732 followed by 200.6552. The third and the fourth are 20.1740 and 11.0584. And finally, 1.6826 for the last term. Add everything to have the y coordinate if x is 0 0.57, and that is 199.2029. This value is exactly the same one we had with Newton's divided difference interpolation.